Have you ever noticed that certain videos on YouTube autoplay with captions shown in the bottom so you can read along as the person is talking? Well, today I want to show you how you can get closed captions automatically shown on your videos because guys, this actually helps your video to become more searchable. So stay tuned because your tips are coming in three, two, one. Hello again, everyone. I'm Faye Shala, and I'm an entrepreneur as well as a business coach. And on this channel, we talk about all things marketing, money, and making more of it, and making it happen in your life and in your business. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. I need your subscribes to hit my next milestone of a thousand subscribers. So please do it, subscribe. And you'll be in the loop to get all of my videos moving forward, all right? But for today, we are back on marketing and we're talking specifically about YouTube marketing for your business and how YouTube can help you to get more and higher quality leads in your business, even if you only get a few views on the video. All right. So this YouTube marketing is a big deal, guys, because YouTube is a search engine. But specifically today, we're going to be talking about closed captions and how those affect your YouTube ranking. OK, don't forget today's part three in a series that's all about YouTube marketing. So I wanna make sure you watch the entire playlist. I'm gonna link the whole playlist up here so you can go back and watch you know, parts one and two to catch up. But it's really important to me that you watch the whole thing because I'm dishing on all the things you need to know to market your business on YouTube. All right, so without any further ado, I wanna talk about closed captions, right? One thing I noticed over time is that whenever I added closed captions to my video, that the views really went up. So I wanted to talk to you about how to use closed captions to increase the views on your YouTube video and a few little tricks that I found along the way. So here are the steps, guys. I've got four of them. Okay, step number one, make sure that you are saying the keywords in your video. This is crucial, which really means that you need to research the keywords before you start the video, but you wanna say the keywords. So for instance, the keyword that I have for this video, well, I have multiple, but the main one is YouTube marketing and specifically YouTube marketing for your business. So I've said that earlier, and I've said in every video, YouTube marketing. I didn't say how to use YouTube to market your business or some other variation, just saying YouTube marketing. And the reason that that's important is because ultimately, when you do add the closed captions, you wanna make sure that the closed captions keywords match the keywords that you have in your tag, match the keywords that you have in your title, because that really helps YouTube to know that, you know what, this video is really about the specific keyword. Now, for number two, I'm gonna take you guys back. I'm gonna take you on my laptop for a second. Um, I'm gonna show you how I code the YouTube video. So when it's time to upload, I'm gonna show you a video that I've uploaded already. Once I upload the video, the first thing I do is that I scroll down, you know, type in the description, type in everything. But once I get to the bottom where it asks me the language, guys, the language is where you get to use YouTube's free, like 100% free 99 closed captioning tool, which means that you're not paying to get these closed captions. There are lots of services that you can pay for closed captions. There's so many of them, but you get to use it for free through YouTube if you select a language. Now I talk American, so I go ahead and click English US because I wanna make sure that the transcriber, you know, um, can catch the little things that I say like gonna instead of going to, et cetera. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, scroll down, click English and US. And once I do that, nothing really happens, right? And that's because I've noticed over time, it can take a couple of hours for the closed captions to generate and that's okay. So I click that, I go ahead and let them know this, this has never aired um, on television in the US. And then after that, I save the video. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that again, it takes a while for the closed captions to generate and that is totally okay. That's totally okay. We are done with step two. Honestly, if you've made it here, you've made it further than most people on, on YouTube. And it's a super simple task, but it's, you've definitely made it far if you've made it here. Now, step number three is that I go back to the video, maybe about two hours or so after I've published it, because I've noticed that's about how long it takes for the closed captions to take. Once I notice it, then I go down into the tags area and I make sure that I add a tag. And the tag is YT, which stands for YouTube, colon, CC equals on. And what that means is that basically closed captions are automatically on. So as soon as you watch the video, closed captions are on. You can turn them off if you'd like, but it automatically turns on the closed captions so that if, it, if the video starts playing um, in the search area or something like that, then you can just literally just read the captions. It's honestly, there's an astounding stat that most people watch videos with sound off. 
So if I automatically put a video up with closed captions and have um, have it come on automatically, it's going to catch the attention of that person who's maybe in the nursery with their baby and trying to pass the time, but they don't have the sound on or the person who's at work and just doesn't want people to know that they're watching YouTube videos. So that's something that, that's a way that you can kind of force it on in the tags area. Now, the, the number four tip that I have for you is to go back after, again, this is two hours after um, I've published the video and I can see that the closed captions have taken, then I also open the closed captions and I go in and I fix some of the text. So I edit some of the text and then republish it. That lets YouTube know that, okay, this content is right. And I've noticed that that in and of itself has always increased the number of views that I had. Um, literally, once I do that within the next hour of me doing that, I'll always get many more views. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because YouTube now trusts my closed captions more, but that's like a crucial step that you want to take, like going in and editing the content. Now for me, that's easy. I have a complicated name. My name is Faye Shola and YouTube never types it out right. It never gets it correct. So what I do is I open it. I scroll down to where I said my name. I correct it, click publish. And once I click publish, voila, I have my saved closed captions, right? And this is something that's really important. Again, a lot of YouTube videos, they can take weeks or even months before they go viral or get a whole lot of views. So you definitely wanna get all your ducks in a row um, early on so that you can really set your videos up for success. So I really hope that this has been helpful. Again, closed captions, if you do them right, then you, they're, they're gonna be riddled with more keywords for people to search on and it's just a way to get more attention on your page. So if you follow these four steps, you'll be using closed captions in the correct way for your business, all right? Now, if any of this is helpful for you, I need you to do one thing. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like I said, I have a new goal of a thousand subscribers. It's a lofty goal, but I know that you can help me get there. So do me a favor and click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but literally it means everything to me. Um, and so just go ahead and subscribe, share this video with someone else that this might be helpful for. And make sure you stay tuned because I have way more content and way more information on marketing, making money and making it happen in your life right here on this channel. All right. So thanks so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.